All right, guys, this is Dev and Mojo for Retro Reality Gaming. Uh, we're actually trying something a little bit new today. We just got uh, recently got a capture card uh, to play some of our consoles. Um, this time it's going to be some PS2 with some Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Um, Dev is going to be playing, and he and I are going to be talking about it. I tried to play 3, but that game doesn't work. 3 is a, a little glitchy, so we, we were going to try to keep in with the series and keep going. Uh, maybe we'll fuck around with 3 a little bit. So, uh, basically we threw in the uh, master code here that unlocks all the cheats just for the sake of having fun. Dev is playing with Eddie from Iron Maiden, their mascot, Edward the Head. Yeah. Which was um, one of the unlockables when you did something, I don't know, fucking beat everything on sick or some such shit. Anyway, Eddie's cool, so that's why we're using him. Yeah, I always play as Eddie. It's one of the cool things about the Tony Hawk games that I don't remember if we talked about on the last one or not. We probably did. There's always different kinds of uh, different characters and stuff on there that aren't necessarily professional skaters. Sometimes there are other celebrities and sometimes there are fictional characters. Uh, Marvel had different characters playing and they also went through some of the... Uh, Characters from the Star Wars mythology. So, um, like that. That's what's up. Um, I don't know. I, I guess. Wait. Yeah. I guess uh, Activision has something to do with Star Wars and video games. Uh, they have some, <laughs> they own some licensing for both. And now, ironically enough, they're both owned by the same company. That'd be Disney, and you also can play as Shrek in Thug 2. That's DreamWorks. Yeah, whatever. DreamWorks probably going to be owned by fucking them someday, DreamWorks too. DreamWorks is their competitor. Yeah, I know. Almost the 3D animation competitor. This is the Kona level. Basically, um, yeah, this is the Kona level, which is probably somewhere in fucking Hawaii, or fucking Kona, Hawaii, yeah. They make coffee there. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm thinking for me, uh, and probably everybody else, this was the best, um, pro skater no. game. Most people think that 3 is the best pro skater. Really? Yeah. Well, it's because this was starting to move in the direction that they went with for the Underground series, which some of the purists didn't like. They happen to be um, Dev and my favorite games of the series. I'm sure we mentioned this because we're always talking about that. The Underground 1, 2, and American Wasteland, which we'll be getting into at some point. Probably later on. Probably this evening to tonight, be yeah. shown at some future date. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's not much to talk about this game. Like, it added a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch. Uh, added stuff to Tony Hawk. It, it added characters and levels to Tony Hawk games. It really didn't add very much. It added some stuff. But it didn't. It wasn't groundbreaking or anything. Like how, in the same way that Tony Hawk's two. Yeah, was, where it made a, a big change a to the series. Gap, yeah. And uh, well, it added spine transfers. I guess uh, then that maybe would be a good time to segue into Underground One. I don't want to. I don't want that to be the same episode because we're gonna beat that game. Right. Okay. Well, then that's gonna be fucking. It's going to be a short episode. Mini series. All right, so forget what I said about Segway. Oh, crap. There we go. That was a thing. That I think that was that in this game. That might have been... Yeah, you, you really got fun. some more tricks, I think. And... 
No, I mean like that. Oh yeah, when you can actually change your your um, falling angle so you can yeah. actually land on the board. Yeah, and they they made that even better in uh, I think it was the first whatever Project Date or Proving Ground, whichever one came directly after Wasteland as far as those games went. Project Date. Yeah. So they made some major changes with the controls in that. So remember, they changed the way that you could do like your flips and stuff. Pretty sure it was more natural. I think it was a D-pad thing, or maybe it was an analog stick. It went from one to the other. And you had to press a button before or some shit to actually be able to flip. Yeah, it'd be like circle up, up. Yeah, yeah. And it just got to the point where you could use one whatever directional keys that you were using. You could go up or down and left and right at the same time and do like those gyro spins and shit. Yeah. This game's ridiculous. It has its perks. I'm still, I'm not as sold on the Pro Skater because I really didn't get into the series until Underground. I mean, I played it some on PC in the beginning, but it's really, it's not my favorite era in the gaming. I'm curious to see where he's going to go with this next because they're he made, definitely... He just made an app game. Yeah. Turning out Shred Session, which is... It's like, like a, a phone it's a rail game. It's like, it's like um, what's that game? It's like Temple Run and Subway Surfer, those games, those on rail, like chaser kind of games. Right, except right. It's a little bit different. For as, for Android type shit. Or yeah, something. an iPhone and stuff. Yeah. Which are all dumb and. Like, right, they tend to be. It's not like Tony Hawk's Red Session is gonna add anything. That's you know. Right. Right. It'll be like it's just good enough be, to be considered a Tony Hawk game. It probably won't even be as good as some of the ports to handhelds that they did with like Sony and Nintendo. Well, obviously, because Microsoft has no portable. Yeah. Which makes no sense to me. Yeah, yeah, they're missing out. They're missing out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so much to be had. Dev and I each have uh, Vitas and 3DS because we like, you know, we like to get our game on on the go too. You can you can take your uh, control in and poop. Well, actually, you can do it to Wii U too. You know, you can play and poop at the same time if you're playing by yourself. It's all good. Nintendo likes your money. Nintendo likes money more than any company. Maybe. Yeah, we, Dev and I found that out too recently. We have just recently uh, become owners of a Wii U. Which and we'll record eventually when we find out where the RCA cables are on that thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll get, we'll get around to that. Um, but what we did was uh, I made sure to get us... Uh, pair of nunchucks and then I or a pair of Wiimotes then I got nunchucks for them too then I bought the Cro pro controllers and we bought the classic controllers and because we decided to get into some rhythm games again we also now have uh, guitar controllers too so basically the only thing that I haven't bought yet for this fucking thing is um um, the fucking uh, GameCube controllers, which are, they'll be coming as well. And the Wii Fit. Right, well, we don't plan on buying the Wii Fit. I don't, anyway. Um, I work at Amazon. I don't need Wii Fit. I walk 937 miles every day at um, the average speed of 30 miles per hour while on fire and carrying 300 pounds at a time. 
Well, not really, but pretty close to those uh, statistics. The person that gave me those statistics is a drug addict, so I can't trust him really. He's about as trustful as holding Caulfield. Well, I don't know. So really, I mean, really all we're doing is talking about shit. My dad was rolling around, but obviously we're very interesting people, and everybody enjoys hearing us talk. So that's what we do. I'm done. So anyway, yeah, that was Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Not 3, 2, or 1. Not the fucking port for the PSP or fucking your Android phone or your Kindle or your Atari 2600. At any rate, this has been Dev and Mojo with another way back chill session for Retro Audi Gaming. So oh, this came out as flat... This what? came out at Flat Ground Tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was this the first one that Mullen was in, or was that the last one? No. I know he wasn't... That was the second one. Right. Or saying, the first one, I think it was. No, he wasn't in the was. first one. I think it might have been the first one. Maybe no. he was. I think it was the second one. Mullen didn't appear in every single game, though. He did but, after that. Uh, he appeared in every... He, he appeared in more than anybody outside of Tony. He said that he would keep being in him as long as I kept making them and he's been in every game since so. yeah. except for like you know downhill jam and stuff anyway uh, we random were... mojo fact I met Rodney when I was like 15 or something <clears throat> and that's all I really have to say about that alright on the episode alright so um until next time keep it retro hose <laughs> you see that see what I did there I mixed it up Laters.